Hi! It's been forever since I made one of these. Honestly, I just forgot for like four weeks. Don't even have an excuse. Anyway, here I am now. Shout out to Adam again for reminding me last week to put that one up, which in turn reminded me to make one this week. So, here I am. I'm back. Welcome back, me. I've got another other videos video to put up that I'm going to put up later this week, maybe Thursday. Shooting for Thursday or before that, who knows? I don't I don't even know, man. Um but so that'll be up. It was a fun time. Fun things happened. Watch the video to see what it was. I'm not going to lay it all out here cuz then why would you watch the video? You already like know all the stuff that happened. Anyway, this weekend, the residence hall I live in that I'm part of the Hall Council for Marathon Star Wars. Because a bunch of the RAs wanted to do a program for May the 4th Be With You, but that's too late in the year to do programs. It's the week before finals. Uh, it's too late in the year. But every year, the RAs and Hall Council have to collaborate on an event, or every semester. I don't quite remember. But so this time so we were at a hall council meeting and everyone was talking about oh i wish we could do may the fourth be with you we could watch all the star wars movies and so i was just thinking and i was like what if we did it in march we could call it the imperial march and so we did it last weekend uh but we had it over two days on saturday we watched all of the prequels and we had snacks and ice cream and everything um, and then on Sunday, we watched all of the original trilogy and the new one, which was not great quality. Anyway, uh, because, you know, it was online and whatever. But it was a good time. We had snacks and ice cream and we had pizza yesterday, but it was a super fun time. There were there was never really a whole lot of people there at the beginnings, but there were definitely points in the middle and by the end when like we had a pretty good turnout and people really seemed to enjoy it and you know it was a fun time. You could come in and float in and out for different movies or for a while you could like bring in your laptop or whatever and do some work. We just hung out and chilled on in our lounge, which has way too many couches. <laughs> Uh, which actually worked in our favor for this event, because there was optimal seating. Is that the proper use of the word optimal? I'm going to look that up right now, because I don't know if I used that correctly. I know that's definitely a sentence, but I don't know if I used it correctly. Optimal definition. Here we go. Optimal. Adjective. Best or most favorable. Optimum. Okay, so I didn't use that correctly. <laughs> we had an abundance of seating. There we go. That's a better word for there. That, no, um, I mean, I had optimal seating because I was there all day for both of them because we had to have one RA and one person from Hall Council there. Um, and so the RAs like signed up to take shifts for movies and like some of them went out to drove to go out and get the pizza and everything and some went shopping for the snacks and everything but for Hall Council there's only like five or six of us on eboard and one person couldn't go at all that weekend and other people were like oh well I can you know go during these times but not these other times and me and one of my actually two a couple of my friends couple of the people on how actually okay so four out of like six of us were there almost the whole time i was there the whole time my friend zach was there the whole time minus like an hour when he had another event in another part of the lounge <laughs> upstairs um my friend jordan was there the whole time except for a little bit at the beginning of sun saturday when she had something else going on i don't know what it was but you know she had a thing going on um the couple other people were in and out, but you know, we just hung out. We watched the movies. Um, so it was a fun time. It was, it was very Star Wars. I enjoyed it. You know, I love Star Wars. I love space. Um, I love Star Wars enough that I am willing to accept that it has its faults and have discussions about its strengths and weaknesses. But unlike many people, I don't hate the prequels. I enjoy them. 
I think they're good movies. I don't think they're as... I don't like them as much as the original trilogy, but I don't think the original trilogy is faultless either. Um, but yeah, I don't hate the prequels. I like them. I think they're interesting stories being told. Some of the, of the dialogue is very rough, true, and the pacing is a little slow, but there's a lot of rough dialogue and slow pacing in the original trilogies too it's they're not devoid of problems the reason that the fifth movie the reason what's the fifth movie called i always do this the empire strikes back that's it the reason empire strikes back and force awakens were so successful was because they had clearer pacing and a better balance with the action versus non-action sequences. The prequel trilogy and the two bookends of the original trilogy had very slow pacing at times and there was a very uneven balance for what was action and what was not action. The fight scenes in some of them just drag on there's too much going on, there's too many things happening, and so they're not faultless. People seem to forget how incredibly hokey the original trilogy was. Like, if nothing else, the prequel trilogy looks beautiful with all the landscapes. Why are there landscapes? I don't know, but they're gorgeous. <laughs> anyway, that's my opinion probably not going to edit this video. I mean, it seemed to flow pretty well through. I didn't stop and stare off into the distance at any point, which is good. Also, I have a million and a half things to do, and I it takes a long time to edit these. So I'm just going to leave it as is, and we're going to be good. I'll see you on, I'll see you by Thursday at the latest.